Hello, sports fans and football fans of the USFL, which is currently playing, if you hadn't noticed. We finished week two of the USFL, of USFL action, and after two weeks, this is where I stand. Week two, I was two and two. I got the Panthers game wrong again, and I got the Breakers game way wrong. And overall, I am five and three on the year, which is pretty good. It's a 62.5% pick percentage, which is, if you follow my NFL picks during the NFL season, it's better than my uh, NFL picks, which after three seasons as, is at 60.9%. So, uh, that's where we stand. And, and really, that's, that's pretty good for a league where we don't know any of the players. We don't know how the players would play together. And we have no idea how good any of the teams really were coming in to the season. So, we're going to look at some highlights. Then we're going to look at some standings. And then we're going to get into the picks.
right, well, before we get into the picks for week three, let's take a look after two weeks at the standings. Uh, the first um, division we're going to look at is the North Division, and in the North Division you have the Generals and the Stars tied for the um, first place in that division uh, at one and one each. And then the Panthers and the Maulers tied for second place, basically, at 0-2 each. And remember, uh, in the USFL, the playoffs consist of the top two teams in each division playing each other for a division championship. And then the winners of the division championships go on to... Uh, play each other in the USFL championship game. So that's the North, and uh, here's the South. You got the Breakers. It's a, basic, it's a similar situation to the North. You got the Breakers and the Stallions tied atop the division at 2-0 each, and the Gamblers and the Bandits each at 1-1. One one. So right now the Stallions and the Breakers have an inside track on that um, uh, that uh, that playoff, those playoff spots for the South, and the Generals and the Stars have an inside track on the playoff spots for the North. So let's get into the picks for next week, week three of the USFL season. Uh, this week, uh, now you recall, last week there was a game on Friday, then there was two on Saturday, and there was one on Sunday. This week there is going to be two on Saturday and two on Sunday. So the uh, first game on Saturday at 4 p.m. is the Bandits against the Gamblers. And... Uh, in this game, I am going to go with the the gamblers, yeah, not the uh, not the bandits. I'm going with the gamblers. The uh, the bandits just look horrible uh, in their game against the uh, their game against the breakers. So um, I don't know what the deal is there. So you know unless I see better play from them. Now, the Gamblers haven't really lit it up so far either, but I think the, the better of the two teams coming into this game is going to be the Gamblers in that one. So now you got the, uh, the Maulers and the Panthers, and uh, both of these teams are 0-2. Both of these teams have played poorly in the first two weeks overall. And for that reason, and remember, this is the Maulers. For this, for that reason, I'm going to go with the Maulers in this one. The Panthers are my team, but they've cost me so far two uh, picks wrong. And I'm not going to pick them again until I see them win a game and play better than they've played. Uh, the Maulers at least made it a game on Sunday and... They played a little better. They looked, um, well, they looked a lot better than they did in, in week one. And they looked better, actually, than the, the Panthers have looked all season long. Now you got the games of Sunday, May 1st. And uh, the first game is, and by the way, that Maulers-Panthers game was at 8 p.m. on Saturday. And the uh, Stallions against the Breakers is the first game on Sunday, May 1st. This game is at 2.30 p.m. And um, in this game, guess who I'm gonna take? Yeah, I'm gonna take the Breakers in that one because the Breakers, they look really good. Now they did suffer a defensive injury to a defensive back in last week's, um, in week two um, game. And as you may not be aware, the uh, USFL, carries a, a lighter roster of players than the NFL teams do. Uh, so they, uh, you know, they value um, flexibility in players being able to play multiple positions 
and so it is kind of a uh, kind of a you know a, um, it's a big loss when somebody is injured but we'll see whether he's out for the um, whether the, the injury really all of the injuries we'll see how they affect these teams going forward and how serious and long term they are uh, because I think the Gamblers lost their quarterback, their starting quarterback, or at least a guy that is like a co-quarterback. They lost him, and it looks like maybe for at least a few weeks and maybe this, the rest of the season. So that brings us to the last game on Sunday, May 1st, and this game is at 8 p.m., and it is the Generals and the Stars. And in this one, I'm going with the Stars. Take the Stars in this one. The Generals have looked pretty good. I don't want to take anything away from them, but I think the Stars are starting to gel and play a lot better. And um, I think that they're generally, um, generally better than the Generals. So those are my picks. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, what my thumb looks red in that. What is that? And um, you know, leave comments, and uh, until next week's picks, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.